Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mpo Wagatoka, the Betty Han. And to all my returning subscribers, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for continuing to love and to support me. And if you are new here, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the notifications bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. First of all, Happy New Year, Happy 2022. The Han is turning 22 in 2022. Yes. <laughs> you know, so yeah, Happy 2022, Happy New Year, you guys. And yeah, let's get into the video because what else am I going to say? Um, <laughs> so you guys, sorry, let me just unlock my phone. There we go. So you guys, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a get to know me tag. So sorry for the noise in the background. I need God to do a miracle for me to move out because why please listen please listen please listen um, I went on my Instagram and I asked you guys to ask me a couple of questions um, about anything that you would like to know about me and you guys did so so today I'm gonna deliver on what I said I would do and that was to do a get to know me tag hmm. um, <laughs> oh also I'm sitting on my bedroom floor just the chair yeah i'm just sitting on my bedroom floor just because um and this here is my bed yes so the very first question is what is your full name Mpotoka. <laughs> that's it like that's that's really just my name Mpotoka. that's my name my full name rather um the next question is what do you use to shoot your youtube videos so before um what am i saying before what <laughs> so at first I was yes there we go at first I was using my phone to um, shoot my videos or to create my videos I then later um, bought a camera which is what I'm using um, yeah that's what I use now to shoot my content uh, what were your fears about starting a channel wow I think my biggest fear about starting a channel was people not liking my content, people not relating to me, um, and like, you know, this was just like one of those things that I was super, super doubtful about. And I don't think ever in my life I've ever been so filled with so much doubt about one particular thing that I wanted to do. So yeah, I was just like, you know really worried that people are not going to enjoy the content they're not going to like it people are not going to relate to me and that i'm just going to fail you know um but you know i i see the growth and i'm seeing people subscribing people telling me i'm a new subscriber here so that makes me really happy and yeah i'm just like how okay so yeah please check your dm okay okay Check my DMs. Okay, let me just get this person's handle quickly. Okay, there you go. I. So the question says, can your boyfriend fight? And why hasn't your boyfriend married you yet? Very brave of you to assume that I have a boyfriend. Um, that's very very brave. I wow. When I do get a boyfriend, I will ask him if he knows how to fight and then, you know, let him know that some, some gent was asking me there on Instagram. Next question is, what's the one thing you want people to remember you for? I want people to remember me for living my life unapologetically. I think one thing I've come to realize is that I haven't lived my life. And I was telling my mom even the other day, I'm like, I just want to live like I'm young. You know, I told them, like, I'm, I'm young, I want to live, I want to be able to travel and do things that, you know, just do every crazy thing there is to do. Um, because I feel as though I haven't lived my life, or ever, at least ever since I, like, moved back home, I've just kind of been, like, Ugh. like, super, mm, like, so rigid, you know. I want to be remembered for just living my life authentically, unapologetically, living for me, and just being a happy person, you know. If you could have one superpower, what would it be and why that? Um, I think my superpower 
that I would want to have would most probably be reading people's minds. Um, I want, I would want that superpower only so that people who are my subscribers would actually, you know, people who are not very comfortable just like giving off like constructive criticism, people who would like I could read your mind and you would just tell me I wish you would use a better lens or I wish you would, you know, create more beauty looks that involve color and, you know, symmetrics and whatever, you know so i think yeah i'd want to out now I'd, where i'm trying to grow as a content creator and as i'm trying to grow on this channel and on this platform i'd want to know what people think or read people's minds so that they could let me know so i could actually get an idea of what it is that they think of the content and the channel and me as a person on the channel so yeah that <laughs> Which university did you attend? I went to Rosebank College um, and I studied... Okay, it's not part of the question, but I'm going to tell you anyway. <laughs> I studied... Um, or rather, I did my diploma in Information Technology at Rosebank College. Yeah. Um, the next question is, can I be your BF? Of course, you can be my best friend, bruh. Let's be Insta besties. Like, let's be Insta besties. Like... You like my pictures, I like your pictures, you comment, I comment. You know, like we become Insta besties, you know. <laughs> Let's be Instagram best friends. Let's be best friends in real life. Because <laughs> I don't have a best friend, so I don't mind. This one says, not a question, but you're beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, the next one is, how's life after varsity? I think we need to have a very honest and deep conversation about how difficult life after varsity is um especially when it comes to things because obviously when you get out of varsity you are thinking to yourself i'm gonna apply for a job i'm gonna get a job get an apartment get a car you know um and it's actually not like that and i think only once you've actually experienced that do you realize how hectic and stressful and hard it actually is you know being at home applying day in day out and just like getting rejection 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 it's it's very difficult you know it's not easy and you know certain jobs like that you apply for especially like entry-level jobs you know you find that there are certain entry-level jobs that require you to have a car and you're like how if it's entry-level and i'm only entering into the workplace and into the industry now so it's one of those things where you're like you know how do i have a car you know not everybody is fortunate enough for their parents to have purchased them a car after their graduation and things like that so i think even you know companies need to consider those type of things when they want to hire people for entry-level jobs or graduates and stuff like that um but also what else um just like yeah you know I, I think my biggest thing was like because when i was applying or when i am applying for jobs i literally look for entry-level jobs um you know just like jobs that require you to have like two or three years experience and you're like how do i have two or three years of experience when i've just graduated so even those type of things you know i'm just like seriously so life after varsity it's not easy and you know for me it did give me an opportunity to actually think about what it is that i want to do and actually go forth with starting my channel which is something i had been saying i would do since 2019 and i never did and i think last year was just one of those things where i was just like you need to do this you need to do this while you're looking for a job actually do this you know um so yeah i mean if you are really questioning what to do with your life after varsity try investing more into your passion try investing more into something that you really like and that you think will be lucrative for you in the future or you know yeah anything really let's move on uh your favorite color my favorite color is purple yeah my favorite color is definitely purple i love purple man <laughs> um the next question is what or who inspired you to start a channel um because i've seen the face of the person who's asking me this question you are actually one of the people that inspired me to start my channel and i think it was more so a thing Yoguti. i know you personally like you and i went to uh, we went to high school together yeah we went to high school together and so when i saw you start your channel and just like having the you know just like having that courage to do so but also just like 
looking so happy doing what you're doing i was like dude this should actually inspire you because this is somebody that you know and should you ever feel like you need some advice obviously you can go to this person you know so you are one of the people that definitely um you know inspired me to start my channel um king onyama zx online uh jackie aina um mm, who else i am shelly uh salomilaka yeah those are just a few people that i love on <laughs> on youtube um what inspired me to start my channel was really first things first it was makeup i love makeup i love looking beautiful i love sitting down and just like doing my makeup it's so therapeutic you know that whole process of trying out different eyeshadows you know and different foundations and just like seeing okay this is better for my skin or you try out a new product and it gets you excited because it's like i didn't think this product would work so well or you tried a new product and you're like mm, like legit thumbs down <laughs> you know so that for me was one of the things that really inspired me um i think also just like wanting to share my life with people um you know i don't have like the most interesting life like i don't do the craziest things in my life but i think you know just showing people that even a simple life is a good life you know a life where you're just calm where you're just being yourself and just like loving what you love doing what you love i think that was just one of the things that also inspired me to just you know start my channel or pretty much go ahead with starting my channel uh what is your favorite movie my all-time favorite movie like no movie can ever be above this movie for me is pretty woman i don't know any movie that is <sighs> like no movie is above pretty woman for me like that is a classic have you been out of the country not yet and i say not yet because i plan to get out of this country <laughs> at a point in time uh the last no sorry it's not the last question uh, the next question is where are you from i am from kempton park um in a little place called i don't know is this a suburb or a city in a suburb called Milken park and the last question is what is your nickname i don't have a nickname i do not have a nickname uh mainly because i hate the name imposa like more than anything i absolutely absolutely with everything in me hate the name imposa don't call me that there's legit only one person who can say to me Mposa and I will like respond and that is my grandfather other than that don't ever call me that my name is Mposa I don't like it <laughs> so yeah those are all the questions <laughs> anyway you guys so um just before I close this off I just want to speak a little bit about what I want to do on my channel this year um, I think I've, you know, because I started like later on in the year of 2021, I was just pretty much like, okay, you know, I don't want to be too hard on myself. I want to take it easy. But this time around, I have a full on 12 months to actually, um, create content and, you know, do different things. So definitely more vlogs, um, right after this is actually going to be a vlog. Yeah. So definitely more vlogs and more story times because I really want to be able to just share my life and just... Talk to you guys a bit about what I've done, what I've been through, what people have done to me. You know, just like a bunch of experiences. So definitely more story times. And I think this would be an exciting one. The very first story time you guys should expect is how my experience with weed was. But also how my mom actually caught me with the weed. So yeah, that's a story time everybody should look forward to. Um, definitely more beauty content. You know, beauty was one of the major things that brought me onto this channel, that brought me onto this platform. And so, and I think, you know, the reason why I was so, um, like I did create beauty, but like beauty content, but I wasn't, you know, I wasn't doing much of it is because um, I, I think I was looking at how everybody is able to do so many different things with makeup and i'm like i only like i would love to learn how to but i don't think i would like it because i know that for me i love the soft glam i love you know very chilled vibes when it comes to my makeup i don't want to be extra and yeah i think i was just kind of like you know what exactly will i be teaching people you know how to always look good but it's always soft glam so you know i was very i was very confused not necessarily confused but like more so worried that you know the beauty content the beauty content wouldn't be so versatile but i guess that's just me i'm a very simple person so i want my beauty content to relate that or to relay that about me so yeah definitely more beauty content i will you know try and play a bit more with color 
uh, where my makeup is concerned, where my eyeshadow is concerned. So yeah, <laughs> with all of that being said, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. I really hope you guys did like the fun and not so fun facts about me that you've gotten to learn today. And yeah, this is the end of the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also hit that notifications bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching today and I will see you in my next video. Bye!